What's up? How y'all doing out there? Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy Easy Work Boxing, aka the Chef. Shout out to Bushido. I'm gonna take that somewhere. I'm gonna show y'all what time it is. The Chef is here, baby. And y'all know it's time to cook. It's time to cook. Now y'all know I keep it real on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Javante Davis. Shout out to Tim Bradley. But something I want to talk about that I'm seeing in this situation is it's not fair what people are out here doing. You know what I'm saying? As far as with Javante Tank Davis. I remember this. I remember when Floyd Mayweather was accused of beating up his baby mother. Nobody gave Floyd Mayweather the benefit of the doubt. I didn't hear nobody coming to Floyd Mayweather. And I'm telling I'm talking about black people included. Blacks included. We all remember this. Floyd didn't get no benefit of the doubt. Floyd was guilty. Floyd did this. Floyd did that. No proof. No proof. So all I'm saying to the boxing fan is, if y'all was there at that time, did nobody show Floyd love? Did nobody give Floyd the benefit of the doubt? What did happen between this time frame with Tank that all of a sudden everybody is like, oh, Tank probably didn't do a benefit of the doubt. The girl came back and exposed that didn't nothing happen. Y'all know that's a lie, right? Because if the girl, the girl would have never called the police. Like Tim Bradley said, it takes a reaction or anything. For, it takes two people to tango. So something happened that day. Something happened. All right? But I just want to say that in the beginning. Shout out to both of these dudes. I'm going to let y'all hear some of the most important part of what people are forgetting about what Tim was saying. Okay? See, everybody want to go and talk into this little messy side instead of talking about the part of boxing. See, Tank came out with a video and said that Tim Bradley career was ass, that he basically didn't do anything in the sport of boxing, this, that, and the other. Now, I want to let y'all let y'all hear some video, some parts of Tim Bradley saying what he had to say about Tank. This one. is a start. Kid sells out arenas. Now, it's time to give him his career. You know, the Hall of Fame career. I'm right here on the soil, right here. You know, Hall of Fame ain't nothing but a few minutes away from here. You know, that's what that's what Tank should be thinking about, man. Want to be remembered for the rest of his career. I mean, the money is great and all, but man, go in there and fight somebody, bro. Fight somebody. Fight somebody that we all know. Somewhere where we don't know who's gonna win the fight. Take that risk because yes, you are now. You now. You're now. No, everybody know you. The brand is built. Mm -hmm. True. But can we get the fights now? True. The people want to see. Speaking of, see, this is where this all started from. See, this is where this all started from. Because Tim is a real, real commentator of boxing who speaks his opinion, which he has a right to, and he's telling the truth like everybody else is telling the truth, y'all. Tank has built himself to the status. Floyd and them got him there. Okay, we know you can sell tickets. We know you can sell pay per views. But what about the legacy fights, Tank? Y'all are crazy to say that these dudes that Tank's been fighting is A1 competition in 50-50 fights. Y'all need to cut that out. Tim ain't really did nothing to this boy, man, but said what every Boston fan want to say. And he ain't did nothing. He did something different than most of the channels and people who report the Tank and kiss his ass and not tell the truth about the fact that he's not fighting anybody. Okay, that's all Tim did. That's all Tim did. Now, let's go to the end where he talks about Tank Davis and say he's a piece, you know. I want to hear this. But first of all, people are forgetting this. He said, I don't like Tank. But he said, I don't take nothing away from him. Me as a boxing channel, there's a lot of fighters I couldn't stand. The Charlo brothers, I still give them the benefit of a doubt. I'll never discredit a man just because I don't like them. So, you know, a lot of people going around and saying that it's good Tim don't be on, ain't judging his fights, it's good this and that. That don't mean Tim will go on a, a car and lie and say Tank didn't win because he don't like Tank personally. Okay? There's something that's going on today, and I don't know why it's these millennials being born or something, but you don't have to like people to give them they uh give them they flowers. I like I don't like Jay-Z as a person, but to me, he's the best rapper that ever did it. You understand? I love to hear Jay-Z flow. It's like he flow on a beat, but I don't like him. You see how I just gave him his props, though? So that don't mean that he wouldn't give Tank his props. All he's doing is telling the people, telling the world what the real fans want to say to Tank. That everybody's going with a microphone, kissing his ass and not saying. But this is what he said about it. It's not personal. I just don't, I, I, I don't like the guy because of that. I just don't like the guy for what I hear and, and what I see. You know? I think he's, I think he's a piece of shit. I honestly do. He's a piece of shit. You know, you put your hand on the women, on women like that. Bro, you're a piece of shit in my book, bro. You're not a man. 
You know, my dad always told me, you a coward. You do something like that. You a coward. Deep down inside, you a coward. Because you got to pick on somebody that can't even defend themselves. Bro, that's, that's not right. And I don't care about the, the what happened and all the... Exactly. You see what I'm saying? His opinion ain't no different than Tank's. Tank said that his career was sucked. Disrespectful to him. He coming about talking about how he feel about Tank as a man, not even in boxing. But yet everybody is in their feelings and old Tim Bradley wrong. But let's go to Tim Bradley's resume right quick and show y'all something for the people who ride with Javante Tank Davis. See, the difference between Tim Bradley and Javante Tank Davis is Tim Bradley took risks. Tim Bradley ain't keep fighting Mexican Latino fighters and giving us bad pay-per-views and y'all happy with it, you casual fans. Tim Bradley went out there and put himself in the Hall of Fame by taking big fights and taking risks. Fighters that people didn't want to fight and, fight, and fighters in their prime that was destroying people. Manny Pacquiao, Brandon Rios, Jesse Vargas, Juan Manuel Marquez, uh, Provokin, well, Provo I can't say his name, Provokin, Provokin or something, Joel Casamayor, Devin Alexander, Lamont Peterson, when Lamont Peterson was 27 and 0, Nate Campbell, Kendall Holt, Edna Cherry. What the hell are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? This man went out here and took chances to be, he fought fighters to be, took chances to be great, y'all. Yeah, some people on his resume. I don't question Tim Bradley on why he never fought Floyd Mayweather. Y'all maybe y'all forgot about that, didn't it? If y'all was gonna say something, say something about that, because that I always wonder about that. Why you didn't ever challenge Floyd Mayweather? But the man resume is 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 good as hell. Way better than tanks. Way better than tanks. Black fighters on his resume early, 27 old Lamont Peterson, Devin Alexander, Kendall Hope. What y'all talking about? What black fighter is on Tank resume? All we getting is Mexican Latino fighters and no disrespect to my Mexican brothers and sisters. But y'all know them fighters can't beat Tank. When we And let me say this. When we talk about black fighters, the reason we say black fighters is because black fighters are born with athleticism. We fight differently. We move differently. That's why you keep seeing Tank go and fight with Hispanic Mexican fighters. He won't fight a black fighter because that athleticism will be the same. Power may be the same. Movement may be the same because we are black fighters. It's just in us like that. So that's what we mean by that. It's not a racial thing, okay? It don't mean that because you're black, you're a better box. It's just our movement, our athleticism. But trying to compare the resumes, yeah, Tim won a big boxer, a high name boxer like Javante Tank Davis, but he accomplished and did more as of what Tank has done right now. Y'all happy that Tank in three divisions and cherry picking. Somebody, I asked somebody to name one good fighter, a top fighter that, that, that Tank has fought. Do you know somebody named Mario Barrios? A guy who wasn't even at 140 no more, who needed to move up to 147, that Floyd Mayweather and his team scouted for a Tank because they knew he couldn't wait, make weight no more. Y'all crazy though, but stop being biased when you want to pick and choose sides on things. They both came at each other head, okay? Tim said what he said. Tank said what he said. Tim got a right to his opinion. But to try to say that Tim Bradley was somehow, some way, end up trying to tap, sabotage Tank's career if he was to be a commentator. A commentator can't do no scorecards. A commentator don't judge a fight. And in my beliefs, Tim Bradley would be a fair commentator even if he was at a Tank fight. Like he said, it's not personal. He said, I don't, I don't, he said, I don't like Tank as a person. As a fighter, he a good fighter. He a great fighter. So I think people need to, you know what I'm saying, slow down a little bit with taking sides of Tank every time. Where y'all was, like I said, when Floyd Mayweather was accused of this. You see what I'm saying? Dana White just slapped his wife who slapped him in the club. I ain't heard nobody say nothing. Ain't nobody sent up there taking Dana White's side. But that just showed to the millennials, y'all casual fans, y'all coming to here with y'all feelings hurt because he attacked Tim Bradley. Now Tim Bradley attacked him. Now Tim Bradley the devil. No, they grown men. They both said something. That's the end of it. 
I hope it's over with. Shout out to Tank. Tank, give us the fights we need, Tim. You know what I'm saying? Just stay out the way to, of Tank. But what they both said, they have a right to their opinions. And I'm not going to just sit up and bash Tim Bradley. And y'all talk bringing up this man's resume and don't know nothing about boxing. This man took risks and challenges. Fought Manny Pacquiao three times. Not the old Manny Pacquiao. The Manny Pacquiao who was still on his shit. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. This the shelf easy work boxing, baby. We cook over here. Thank you, Bushido, for that, for that name right there, y'all. And we'll be back soon.